Steve, this is an awfully big vehicle. It can't be a Volkswagen. Oh, it is a Volkswagen. You know, they Volkswagen wants to be in that large crossover market too, the three-row crossover market, where all the major manufacturers have pretty good products. But so uh, Volkswagen wanted to be a part of that, so they put this product in the Chattanooga plant, the new Chattanooga plant, uh, where they had built so built the Passat. And uh, looks to me like a pretty nice vehicle. I mean, we just got in it, but but the uh, nice design and yeah. hmm. really nice features here. It's very clean, very uh, yeah, very orderly, like a German car ought to be. Absolutely, nothing fancy, no. particularly nice materials. Yeah. Uh, is that faux stitching or is that real stitching? I can't quite tell. It it feels real, but. Hmm. Yeah, this, well, this Volkswagen Atlas is uh, kind of all business, basically. It's nice, nice enough, but it's not luxurious and it's not sophisticated, particularly. But it's a good. But you know, good at what it's meant to be, and that's a, a six or seven passenger crossover. So plenty roomy, nice Teutonic design, very practical, very functional. Enough, enough, uh, you know, surface um, uh, design to be classy enough. But it's got a kind of a stiff feel to it. It's a little noisy. Not a lot of power. All the power most people will ever need. You know, it's only the, uh, you know, us uh, power-hungry people that want more power than this has. So, you know, the average consumer would be more than happy with the amount of power here. And I think we have a, oh, we have an 8-speed transmission. Uh, don't know the size of the engine, but uh, our um, information on the car was missing from the glove compartment when we got in. <laughs> but we've been waiting all day to drive this one. It's one of the newest uh, vehicles on, on display here today. Well, Steve, it, uh, I, I think the uh, translating what you just said, comparing it to some of the other vehicles we've been in, this is more like transportation. Yeah. Uh, family transportation at a nice level. I mean, it, it's comfortable for sure. Yeah. It's got got power, but it's you know it's it's a way of uh, of getting there and getting the family there uh, in a uh, in a nice way. Well, you know, Volkswagen is really struggling as a company because of the diesel scandal, but, you know, they make products like this that are just as good as anything on the market, really. Maybe not quite as fancy as some, not quite as uh, sophisticated as some, but, you know, just as good as anything out there for what it's meant to do. Steve, tell me about the uh, panoramic sunroof. Literally, thing, yeah. Yeah, you know, panoramic sunroofs have become pretty popular, and they're not all that ex much extra cost on a lot of cars. But this one seems even more dramatic to me. It, uh, it goes almost all the way to the back of the car, and uh, you know, if uh, on a bright sunny day, you would want that wide open like that. But on a day like today, it's perfect. Just love that panoramic sunroof. nice package tray on the dash there. So it's such a simple thing, but so handy when you've got a place to put things on the dash like that. 